What happened tomorrow? Or the program that reveal you in advance the history to train you for the future? So, welcome to our fourth episode of Preparation for Tomorrow, an original Sine Qua Non creation. Every day we select a major historical event that changed the evolution of mankind. An important birth of someone that meant something in his her field. A sad death of a person that created things, moments, or ideas. Person that influenced the past but that will continue to influence the future. And at the end, a TV, music, or film story. As a suggestion, also, for your free time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be part of our community. Your opinions are important for us, so feel free to comment. We are taking care of each and every message and we will respond as soon as we can. If you like, take action and click the like, notification and subscribe buttons. So, tomorrow is the 20th of May, the 140th day of the year, and there are 225 days remaining until the end of the year. The 20th of May is the last day of the tourist sign. As an important historical event, we choose the obtain a patent for blue jeans obtained by Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis. Second, we will talk about Cher who was born in 1946. Unfortunately, Nikki Lauda died at 70 in 2019. And last but not least, in 1970 the film Let It Be premiered in United Kingdom. Blue jeans were invented by Jacob W. Davis in partnership with Levi Strauss and Company in 1871 and they obtained the patent on the 20th of May, 1873. In December, 1870, Jacob Davis, a tailor from Reno, was asked by a customer to make a pair of strong working pants for her husband who was a woodcutter. He creates suitably robust pants for working by using duck cloth and reinforced the weak points in the seams and pockets with the copper rivets. Davis asked Levi Strauss for financial backing in the filing of a patent application so they applied together. North America accounts for 39% of global purchases for jeans, followed by Western Europe at 20%. Japan and Korea at 10% and the rest of the world at 31%. United States consumers spent more than $15 billion on jeans. Do you know the goddess of pop? She was born on the 20th of May, 1946. She is Cher, or Cherylin Sarkisian, and she has been described as embodying female autonomy in a male-dominated industry. Cher's biggest single, Believe, spent four weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and went on to become one of the best-selling singles of all time. With this single, Cher became the oldest woman to have a number one song at the age of 52. Another funny fact is that Cher had to wait nearly a quarter century between number ones with Dark Lady hitting the top spot in 1974, and Believe, hitting the same milestone in 1999. She is a singer, actress, and television personality, but she is also a doll, and as a doll, in 1976 she beat out Barbie, when the miniature version of her was highest selling doll. Nikki Lauda, was an Austrian Formula One driver and aviation entrepreneur. He was a three-time Formula One World Drivers Champion, winning in 75, 77 and 84. He is the only driver in Formula One history to have been champion for both Ferrari and McLaren, the Formula One two most successful constructors. Lauda was seriously injured in a crash 
at the 1976 German Grand Prix at the Nürburgring, during which his Ferrari 312 T2 burst into flames. In 2005, the Austrian post office issued a stamp honoring him. While in 2008, American Sports Television Network, ESPN, ranked him 22nd on their top drivers of all time. Nicky Lauda died peacefully and surrounded by family members on the 20th of May, 2019, aged 70 at the University Hospital of Zurich, in Swiss. In the TV movie music chapter, we selected the UK premiere of Let It Be, the film. It is a 1970 British documentary film starring the Beatles and directed by Michael Lindsay Hogg, released just after the album in May 1970. Let It Be is the final original Beatles release. The documentary is not centered on the breakup of the group, but it provides some glimpses into the dynamics between John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and Ringo Starr. Let It Be has not been officially available on home video, although original and bootleg copies of the film still circulate. The Beatles, Get Back. An upcoming 2021 documentary expected on the 27th of August, 2021 is utilizing footage filmed for Let It Be. So, for the Beatles fans, that they missed the 1970 documentary, they have the opportunity to see the Walt Disney production of this year. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe and notification buttons. Let me know your impressions by leaving a comment below. Don't forget that the day after tomorrow is the 21st of May and we're preparing a new video. Until the next time, have fun and respect the history and the people who made it.